everyone, this is Yami HP7, and we're going to try something a little different today. Um, with, um, I got a lot of requests to, to, um, do a tutorial on my, um, Holocaster phone case thing. Uh, my phone goes. Mine's gonna be big because I have, I have a galaxy. I have like a, a blue shiny galaxy four. And if your phone's smaller, it'll turn out smaller. But my template is, I'll, I'll put the template in there for, to do this if you have a galaxy S3 it should fit. I mean S3 or S4, it should be like the same size. Mine's a four, so if you have a four, um, then it should fit. This part is not included in the pattern for it, just the shape is, and the size. So, I cut mine out to get, to have my camera, you can sort of see the You can see my camera in there. You can I can take photos and stuff. And this is cut out so my speaker, whenever I'm playing music or I can hear my phone. But let's cut it out. Talking about the case a little bit more. Um, this is basically for this is basically for when you're in cosplay. You have to look at your phone. In my case, I am in in Lissandre. My phone is blue, and he's obsessed with red, so, and I, I don't know about cell phones, and, uh, they're probably cell phones, but anyway, so, and I know he made the Holocaster, so, I made a case for when I'm cosplaying as Lissandre, I can pull out my phone and check my phone and my messages without breaking character, sort of, because I have my Holocaster cover. So, mine has a Team Flare logo on it, because I do cosplay Lissandre. And the bottom of mine actually says, let's see if I can get this on camera, come on, I think it's too, I have Lissandre, oops. I'm used to my camera being the other way. I have Lissandre on the bottom of mine. Why mine has a weird cut in it, is because whenever I was shaving it and stuff, uh, shaving the sides off a little bit. I accidentally cut it. So, today, I'm doing a case for one of my friends. They are going as Melva from Pokemon X and Y. And they have a galaxy. So, I'll be making a phone case for them. So, yeah. And, as you can see, I still have my phone case on mine. If you have a rubber covery type phone case, if you have like this rubber phone case stuff, it's good because it keeps it from sliding. If you have a massive phone case, you're not going to be able to fit this on there. But if you have one of these tight fitted rubber ones, it will actually grab onto the phone. So now to get started, what will you need in this project? One, a hot glue gun. Two. Exacto knife. Exacto knife is your best friend in this project, and you'll need. Since you're using Exacto knife, you'll need a cutting board, which mine is floral. This is my cutting board right here. My desk would be cut up otherwise. What else you'll need? You will need. Mine's cut up because I used it as a template, but you'll need the pattern that I'll provide an, in the description below. So, you can ignore the little hole thing because that's not where your, your um, hole's gonna be on your phone if you have a different phone than me. Mine is on the back and this was not even exact because that was not where my phone ended up. So, you'll need the, the pattern. You'll need I don't know how thick this foam is, but I got it from Hobby Lobby. 
It's one of their thicker sheets of foam. It comes in a big sheet. And you will need... It doesn't matter what color you get because you're going to paint over it. I'm just using red for this because it's Malva. And it's probably going to end up being pink or red. Um, you'll need the normal with craft foam. These are both craft foams. So, there's something on there. So you'll need the thicker width and then the thinner one. And you'll understand why later. Um, let's get started, I guess. Let's grab this. I'm using a sheet that has been used quite a few times on other costumes. I can't find the sheet I was using before. So, what you need is you need three of these. Um, yours will be one solid piece. I just have multiple so I can have so I can trace off where my phone was. So you'll need to trace off. I hope I have enough foam for this. I think I should though. If not, then I'm going to go digging for some more foam. Um, hmm. I think I'll have enough. If you're not too sure how much you need, then then get two sheets just in case because the sheets are about this long. But you should have enough on one sheet. Uh, my case, I have cut this out a multiple amount of times, so I have a lot of them. Uh, you need something to trace them off with. Hmm. I'm using a sharpie. All you do is trace, trace, trace it once, then you, I'm gonna probably skip this part whenever I got it all traced out and it's ready to go, okay? And right now, uh, and right now, I am, re I am just cutting it out with the exact knife. You can use scissors, but it makes a weird crease on the side when you use scissors with this stuff. And my exact knife blade is not that sharp. One thing, safety precautions. Don't cut toward yourself. Unless you know what you're doing. Which, you are newly a new person to using X-Acto knife. That doesn't mean cut towards yourself. It's never usually good. Let's trim it out a little. Right. Always close it before. Probably you're noticing that this one is thinner. Well, I didn't have any more of this foam, so I had to improvise and grab another sheet of normal. But if you cannot find a thick sheet like this, at Michael's, they have a semi thick sheet that is. I have no. Oh, wait. It's a three millimeter. This must be four. This must be a four or five millimeter thick. But anyway, so if you can't find the other, then use four, maybe two of these would make. So you need to make, you need to outline it. If you get a three millimeter, outline this six times because. Normally you would be cutting out three, so you just two of these layered would make the, I guess, the four millimeter. Wait, does that make the four? Or the five millimeter, or whatever this is. Whatever the six stuff is. 
because yeah anyway it'll, it i recommend this whatever millimeter this is um from hobby lobby or whatever supplier you can get foam from in its thick state so i'm going back to cut course, clear off your desk of any excess, um, um, excess foam that may be on your desk. You can put your pattern aside for now. I'm not going to touch the thin foam just yet, and you're just set your exacto knife aside. Now comes the fun part. You and your hot glue gun now. Mine is oozing out some orifice that it doesn't need to be oozing out of. Okay. Mine is very gross looking. As you can see, it has been stuck to a bajillion things and is steaming in the stream. I mean, in this recording. Anyway, so here goes the fun part. Gluing it. Try like, if you know the size of the phone, this is when you would be tracing your phone out. Because it's good to know before you start carving, and then you can glue it properly. But what I'm doing, since I don't know the size of my friend's phone really well, because she does have a Galaxy, but she has the Active, which is smaller than mine. So I kind of roughly know what size it is, but yeah. And make sure you use a hot glue gun that doesn't burn your fingers as you're holding it because mine gets hot all the way down here. It probably isn't the healthiest little hot glue gun, but yeah. Now, when gluing this, make sure you don't ooze too much on the sides. You can always pull it off and no, I didn't just burn myself. <laughs> yeah. If it's a high temp hot glue gun, be careful because it's always safety first I have lost the we're going to use this yeah these are sticky notes they are not sticky because they're memo pads <laughs> wait are they memo pads yeah memo cube that's not really a cube okay so make sure you press them down and then you continue with your um okay. that's not safe to touch i'm just pulling it off now because and if you do burn yourself i did warn you hot glue guns are serious business so do be careful please because the first time I had a hot glue gun, I burned my hand and arm with it. With the same exact hot glue gun. And we were gluing metal. It wasn't fun. I opened the door and broke someone's artwork and because the wind, actually technically the wind, Mother Nature <laughs> destroyed it. I opened the door and it was like very windy that day and they ha happened to have their artwork next to the door and the wind kind of pushed it over and I had to glue it back together. Yeah, I had a high temp large hot glue gun that I may or may not have burned my whole entire arm and hand with. And it, it was not fun. It was not fun because it was my drawing hand and it was from my thumb all the way down to close to my elbow like right here close to my elbow but not completely it was burned all the way down there and i wasn't the one that squeezed the hot glue gun to burn myself with technically it wasn't my fault it was someone else's fault but technically i'm the one holding the project trying to glue back together 
You know, that was my first attempt with hot glue gun. And hot glue gun no liked me back. And I didn't. Okay. Do watch out. Don't burn yourself. Be friends with the hot glue gun. Don't use this hot glue gun because this hot glue gun is probably useless. I'm not this thing holds hot glue guns. It's just this one's a very big mess. My brother thought it was fun to. Uh, my brother's older than me, and he wanted to borrow a hot glue gun, and he borrowed that one. And well, he put a chopstick in it because there was not any more hot glue in it. Instead of being a common person and asking, "Hey, do you have more hot glue? I have slews of hot glue." But the problem was, he didn't tell me what he was using it for. And I have lost- okay. You'll need scissors for this part, because I am not about to cut my hand open with the- So you do need scissors in this project. It's just, I was not thinking about this. So. You can probably do a neater job than me with this thing. I just grabbed some cheesy scissors there. I think mine's the same way. No, it's gonna be covered, so it's okay. I was like, I think mine's the same way. Mm -hmm. So you're trimming it. So it's the same, roughly the same size. Because there is not such a thing as you cutting it perfectly the first time. The first three times. So yeah. Now once you get your shape, hold on. Mine kind of got a little weird. I mean, so clear the remnants off. Blah blah blah. My scissors are now covered in foam. Now you get to make, if you so please, make this part that covers your. Uh, top here. Let's grab the other foam. And all of my foam is falling. Okay. So, as you can see, I've used this on the same thing before. I think I used it on mine. So, you're going to trace this and then cut it out. And you're tracing the inner parts as well. That's what your exacto knife is used for to get the inner parts. So, I'm going to trace this and speed it up and come back to you whenever I've got this completely um, outlined. Okay, we're back. And my, <laughs> my outlining is a little bit poor. To say the least. Okay, now basically, once you get it outlined, take your exacto knife and start cutting it out. I'm going to speed this part up so the video is not completely long, and then I'll get back to you. Now that you've gotten your foam pieces cut out, I just had some nice things. You can push your template to the side. You don't be, you won't be needing that right now, or you're pretty much done with it. But in case something goes wrong, you can always turn back to that. Okay, now. You, I'm basically when you cut it out, dedicate a side that you're going to use as the back side and the front side. I'm going to choose this to be the back, so the piece I just cut out goes right here. I'm hoping my microphone's picking this up because <laughs> I'm not used to this mic.
what I'm doing now is is I'll do this every once in a while, but if you have a scrap piece of that big thick foam without burning your fingers to get some any excess uh, hot glue that seeped underneath that you don't want there you can always peel it off later but if you're impatient like me you can easily wipe it off with that your excess foam so now you got this side with one with the backing piece and then you got this side. So, she did show me how big her phone is. It's about, they go a little bit smaller than mine, so I'm going to mark. These are not going to be perfect right now. a little bit smaller than mine. So you grab your ruler. If you have a ruler, if not, then you just use anything with a straight edge. Or you can use your phone if you have your if you're doing this for your phone. Just grab your phone and then do this. I'm going to undercut it because I remember her phone was smaller than mine. And she can cut off the rest when she figures out what size it is. So, now what you do is you gently take your exacto knife and start cutting where your phone is. without cutting the other side of your case. Now if you had if you know what the size of the phone was, then you could easily have um, done that before we glued it. I just did this with uh, hers because it's hard to estimate whenever you don't know where the center of the case is. And plus I didn't hot glue around the edges. I just hot glued in the, I mean I hot glued on the edges, not the inner parts. So, I made the sad mistake uh, whenever I made someone else's case um, that I glued the inner parts and I was not happy. Now how far are you going to cut? You're going to cut two deep, not three deep, but two deep if you're doing this method. You cut too deep because, making sure I'm not cutting the other side, your phone is a chunky phone if you're using a Galaxy. Or if you're using a new Galaxy, then it's not a big chunk. It's not chunky, it's really quite thin. It's about the same width as a freaking iPhone does, but when using your phone, you want it to stay. I'm trying to keep myself in frame here. Yeah. I'm just trying to get a bit point that I may or may not have glued in. Yeah. Okay. If you have any bits like this, you could always start peeling them back. But this will take a long time. So basically you have your basic design and what you would do now after you're done is all you need to do really is paint it. I ended up painting mine black first before I painted mine. That's why mine is probably a lot harder than this one because I spray painted it black with plastic dip. I plastic dipped it first and then I spray painted it with a metallic silver, which this is a metallic silver here. And then I painted it with the red. So 
you all you have to do now if you want the team player logo you basically will just draw or trace the mine is up a little bit but basically all you do is make that it should be on my pattern actually it won't be as perfect as this but it, you just do that and on these lines here I just took my sharpie and made lines on it where I wanted and then like put little darts in where there's like metal and stuff so anyway so I'm not gonna show you how to paint because it's whatever color you want for your hollow caster really but what is this plastic plasti dip I talk about whenever you use foam it comes in a can it's a spray paint you need to spray it outside if you're underage I never thought of this but if you are not a adult please get your your um, get get your get your parents permission before doing this because this has a lot of sharp and hot and burning things that you could possibly get danger get dangerously hurt on and I'm just like cleaning my 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 scissors with my fingers but yes so if you are a child and you're watching this and you do not know how to properly use a hot glue gun or exacto knife or a sharpie or anything in this video like scissors or spray paint for that matter you are not do it without parents permission please um well if you're a cosplayer and you know what you're doing then go for it i say um but beyond that that's pretty much all i can say about this i'm trimming up the edges if there is an overhang and it's very noticeable then you can trim it and fix it up and stuff and make it pretty but otherwise that's pretty much all you do and my So, thank you for watching, and I hope this video helped. I will try my hardest to make a pattern on the computer of this. I just need to figure out how big it is for my sheet of paper. So, yeah. Or, you can adjust it whenever you print it. So, it's a pretty simple pattern. But, so... Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to see more videos. And this image right here on the screen is me in my costume with my holocaster. So I will link my uh, my link to my deviant below showing my full costume and stuff should be there. But that's pretty much it. Shadow out.